Guys, welcome back to Lab Cyber. Today's video isn't going to be strictly on cybersecurity. It has more to do with censorship and it involves PayPal. Now, I've pulled up the article here from Fortune magazine and you can see the headline in here. It says PayPal tells users it will find them $2,500 US for misinformation, then backtracks immediately. Now, in my lifetime, I have seen companies come up with some very ridiculous policies. I've seen companies come up with some very, very bad ideas. But this one by far has to be the most idiotic decision I have ever seen a company come up with. Now, when we say misinformation, you might think misinformation means you deliberately spreading lies on social media, maybe on Twitter, on Facebook. Maybe you're trying to manipulate people into believing something that isn't real, right? You might think, okay, that is misinformation. Actually, in reality, by misinformation, people are simply referring to you having an opinion or an idea that they don't agree with. Just to give you a very random example, okay, let's imagine you went on social media and you said, I believe Donald Trump is the greatest president America has ever had. Just to give you a random example, right? PayPal will look at that statement and say, no, Donald Trump isn't the greatest president America has ever had. That is misinformation. That's how they classify misinformation, by the way. So people at PayPal, including the CEO, which is, uh, what's his name, Dan Schulman, this man right here, they actually thought that it's going to be a good idea for them to find their own users $2,500 US dollars if they believe they have spread misinformation. I want you to think about this for just a second, right? PayPal, a payment processing platform. That's what they do. They, they, they process payments. They think they have the moral authority and they have the moral superiority over you to judge what you say on social media. And if they feel that, oh, you're spreading misinformation, they then have the right to fine you 2,500 US dollars. Imagine the level of arrogance these people have a payment processing company first of all even if even if you as a paypal user even if you are actually spreading misinformation maybe you deliberately went online and you started spreading lies what business is it of paypal to come in and find you for doing so a payment processing company. A company that processes payments feel that they have the moral authority to judge you and say, well, you're lying, so we're going to fine you 2,500 US dollars. Do you want to know what the irony of this is? The irony here is that due to the severe backlash, because when PayPal released this policy, the backlash was severe. A lot of people criticized PayPal, including the co-founder Elon Musk and even the former president, uh, David Marcos. In here it says, it's hard for me to openly criticize a company I used to love and gave so much to. But PayPal's new policy goes against everything I believe in. A private company can now decide to take your money if you say something they disagree with. Insanity. And of course, Elon Musk said, agreed. Due to this, PayPal then ironically spread their own misinformation by saying, oh, it was all a misunderstanding, it was an error, oh no, we didn't mean to say that. Really? Mm, no. They very deliberately created this policy and the only reason why they backtracked was because of the severe backlash. So don't believe PayPal when they said, oh, this was all a mistake, it was all a misunderstanding, and then, and then, and then, and then, it was not a misunderstanding. They very deliberately created that policy. Now, I don't want to spend too much time talking about this, but the truth is PayPal for quite some time now have been kind of toying the line, trying to see what they can get away with. For many years now, I've been hearing of PayPal doing some really dodgy things like freezing people's accounts. In fact, 
I pulled up another article in here from Bloomberg. This was back in January of this year. PayPal sued for freezing customer accounts without explanation. All you have to do is go on Google and you will find numerous articles of different incidents where PayPal just freezes people's accounts for one reason or the other. Now, personally for me, I am done with PayPal. That's it. I am no longer using PayPal. And I want to show you in full transparency my PayPal account. I actually have to log in again. Excuse me, I, I, got, I got logged out. <laughs> Sorry about that. Let me quickly log back in. Okay, let me show you. This is my official business account with PayPal. All right. Now, in full disclosure, you can see my PayPal balance is zero dollars. In the last seven days, I got fourteen thousand two hundred thirty-seven dollars and forty cents. This was, you know, due to some consultancy work I did. But then yesterday, you can see I withdrew every single penny that I had in my PayPal account, which was nineteen thousand dollars eight hundred forty. Uh, nineteen thousand eight hundred forty dollars and seven cents. Okay. My balance right now is zero dollars. I have withdrawn every penny that I have from my PayPal account. Once I'm done with this video, I am then going to go ahead to shut down my account. I am no longer using PayPal. On my own website, LabCyber, where I sell my online courses. Students no longer can pay using PayPal. You can see this is the checkout page right here. The only option available at this time is with Stripe. Obviously, this would mean I'm going to lose out on some potential sales, but that is a cost I am ready to bear. I am not going to patronize or support a company that believes they have the moral authority and moral superiority over me to judge what I say on social media and then choose to fine me $2,500 years old if they feel they don't agree with what I've said. Who the hell do they think they are? A payment processing company. They're going to poke their nose into my affairs, into my own business, and if they don't like something that I say, they're going to fine me $2,500. It's just because this is YouTube, I'm trying to like censor my speech. But there are so many vulgar things I want to say at PayPal, which I won't because, you know, it's YouTube. I have to keep this professional. But that's it for today's video. I just wanted to uh, share this with you just in case you're not aware of what's happening. PayPal, I am done with PayPal. Companies like PayPal can, can get lost. I am no longer going to use companies like PayPal anymore. And enough is enough. So I'd love to hear from you. What do you think about PayPal's decision? Do you believe it was all in an error? Or do you believe that, nah, they actually deliberately tried to create this policy and only backtracked due to the criticism? Uh, do you agree with PayPal's decision to actually find people? I'd love to hear from you. If you actually are in support of PayPal's decision to find people $2,500 for spreading misinformation, I'd love to hear from you. We can have a very healthy civil debate down in the comment section below. And of course, if you also do agree with me, I'd love to hear from you as well. So. Thank you for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, do give it a thumbs up. Uh, share the video with anyone who may feel and benefit. If this is the first time you're here on the channel, this is Lab Cyber, where I make tutorials on cybersecurity. Please do subscribe and, of course, hit the bell so that you're notified whenever I upload a new tutorial. Stay safe out there, and I'll talk to you next time. Cheers.